everyone, it's Hannah, and we're maybe off on another adventure? Um, I hadn't really planned on going for a hike or anything today, but this is the first time I've seen sunshine in about three weeks. Um, so I definitely had to get out and film something. I'm not planning on going far today, so I thought what I might do is just take you guys around and show you a little bit about where I live. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous day out, and it's a sin to spend it indoors. So I'm just going to walk around my town a little bit and kind of show you some of the sites and some of like the surrounding areas and stuff. Um, there's a beautiful water fountain over there that I'm going to film now in a minute or two. Um, and I'm going to cut this off here because I'm sitting in the car with no air conditioning on and I am slowly roasting. So yeah, let's go for a little walk and see what we can see. So I'm just down on the boardwalk here in Carboneer. Uh, this is, as you can see, or was part of the old rail line when railway still ran across Newfoundland. This is one of the old train engines. Um, as you can see in the background, there's a pretty heavy fog rolling in. It's been kind of coming and going for the past couple of days. Uh, if you come to visit Newfoundland, I cannot emphasize this enough. Bring warm clothing with you because uh, this can literally change in seconds. I have seen it drop about 15 degrees in like 10 or 15 minutes, so just something to be mindful of if you happen to be visiting the area. You can definitely feel the cool wind coming in off the water too. So, as you can see, the sunshine is absolutely beautiful today. Um, it is actually super cold right now. Um, when you're in Newfoundland, a lot of times when the wind picks up and comes in off the water, you have to find a place that is, as we Newfoundlanders like to say, in the lawn, which basically means like in a kind of a sheltered spot. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous day for a walk, though. I'm just going to walk up this way a little bit. There's some uh, ducks and pigeons and stuff. A lot of people come up here and they feed the ducks. So, actually is super nice. Just look at how pretty this is. Just zoom in a little bit so you can take a look. There's the fountain. There's the old train engine. Uh, I know if we're in focus here. That uh, big stone building that you see right behind is the stone jug. It's the oldest or one of the oldest stone buildings in Canada. It's actually a restaurant now. And then over here we have the uh, Princess Sheila Nagara Theatre. This is our, uh, where a lot of shows, good shows and stuff go on. People come in and do music and live performances and so on. So just a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the downtown area. So another kind of funny thing to point out is that it's actually June the first week in June and this is the amount of growth that we have on the trees right now we're just starting to see buds obviously we saw the tulips earlier that are blooming but uh, we're pretty far behind the rest of Canada when it comes to trees actually starting to have leaves and whatnot and it looks like we've got some company I'm sorry I haven't got any food for you here. At least you have fresh grass to eat now, hey. Just a random pigeon taking a sun bath. You're looking pretty comfortable there, my friend. So there's the gazebo that we were just at. <clears throat> And in the background, you can kind of see Carboneer Island. I'm going to try to go and see if there's a place where we can see it a little bit more closely. In a bit. 
This is a super nice little spot to come for a walk. And uh, there's definitely lots of friends or fowl, whatever you want to call it. You guys literally have no fear at all, do you? Okay, well, I'm kind of getting followed by the mob at the moment, so uh, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, you lost a feather. Go get it back, you're littering. I hate litter at the wor at the best of times, worst of times, whatever. Usually you see like beer cans and cigarette packages and all this kind of stuff. Ever since the pandemic, do you know what's the litter I see the most? Masks. Masks everywhere. People, pick up your masks, please. Don't throw them out through your windows. Okay, so remember like five seconds ago when I said I was sitting in the car roasting? I am so glad to be back in the warm. It's cold out there. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely not going home yet. I said I was going to show you guys around, and I will. Starting to cloud over a little bit. We're not going to let that bother us. We're just going to take a look at a couple more spaces. I can see some mosquitoes out there. That's kind of another reason why I didn't want to go for a long hike today, because we're also in the middle of peak mosquito season. And I didn't really feel like getting carried away. Let's actually see what the temperature is. I know the camera's going to shake when I start the car, and I'm sorry. Oh, 13. Not too bad. Oh, excuse me. Turn off my radio. Yeah, I hear you. 13 degrees. So it was 15 when I left home. 13, I'd say with the wind chill, I'd say around 10. So I was actually pretty close to, uh, pretty close. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's go check out some more spots. If you can hear me, it's really windy. Try to keep them. My oh my god, the spiders are huge! Oh my good lord. Where did y'all come from? Oh, that wind is. Oh, there are so many spiders. Oh my goodness. Ooh, baby. Okay, that's all. somebody's arachnophobia. I apologize in advance. Listen, you're only looking at them on the screen. I gotta deal with them in real life. Crocker's Cove, super nice place to come and sit. Look how green the rocks are. And that's, well, I mean, obviously this is the mainland. That peeking out behind is Carbonair Island, the corner of Carbonair Island. You can see the, the lighthouse, or the light beacon rather, on top. Honestly, I'm actually terrified of spiders, but for some reason when they're on a beach, they don't bother me. Figure that out. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is Crocker's Cove. It's basically part of Carbonier. Um, Where we're gonna go next is we're gonna follow this little road up here, and we're gonna go towards the community of Freshwater. And there's some pretty cool stuff up there that I'd like to show you as well. So this is the community of Freshwater, which is really not far from Carbonier. And up here on the very top, we have, um, if it's actually a community or not, but it's called Flat Rock. A lot of people got cabins and stuff up there. And this is looking back towards Carbonier. We're just going to walk up here a little ways. 
And there's a little path right here. Let's see if I can hold on to the camera and get up here without falling. Oh, you're very orange. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. Kind of come sideways down here. Don't fall, don't fall. Enter at own risk. I'll take my chances. And there is Carbonear Island, and you can see again, the fog has really started rolling in. You can pretty much only see the top half of the island. But yet, look down here, and it's clear. Also, do you see how that island kind of looks like a Newfoundland dog laying in the water? Like there's the head right there with the nose and the ears. He's just kind of laying, looking out towards, uh, looking out towards Perry's Cove. I think it's Perry's Cove. And an interesting fact about Carbonear Island, people used to live there. Uh, obviously they don't now. And this was actually a, um, uh, I don't know if, I don't want to use the word fort, but it was like a defense area when the town of Carbonero was fighting off the French. Hold up, bro. They were fighting off the French. I'm half French. Didn't work. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Mountains up there. Someone's house kind of right behind me. And fresh water. You almost kind of take it for granted when you live here, but like, this is the kind of stuff that they show in tourism ads and magazines, and it's like, Everybody looks at it and they're like, oh, I want to go there someday. And when you live here, you just kind of get used to it. But, you know, always, I always try to make a point of getting out and just really appreciating how beautiful this area is because I got to say, the Avalon Peninsula in Newfoundland is pretty much one of the prettiest spots, I think, for scenery and cool stuff to look at. <laughs> 